What's going on everybody? It's time for another Sparks Notes comic review. This time we're going to be looking at Vietnam Horror number one from Behemoth Comics. So stay tuned for that. First, do all those YouTube things. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Uh, comments are the best because I get to see what you guys think about the books. We have a conversation about the books in the comments, so go ahead and drop a comment. Let me know what you thought of Vietnam Horror number one. Welcome back, everybody. Let's start talking about this story. Uh, Vietnam Horror number one from Behemoth Comics. Written by Massimo Rossi and Vito Capolo on the art. Um, we have some nice, beautiful black and white art on this story. Um, and it is set in um, the time period of the Vietnam War. Um, following some of the soldiers that were at in the war. And what we're finding out is that um, they're having the same dream where um you know shadows are chasing them it's getting scarier uh they run to a beach and there's dead fish everywhere they swim into the, go into the water and swim and then just dissolve into the waves um and that's how the story starts tell you know talking about this this um interesting dream that they're having um and then we see some of the, you know, the real war horrors um, with some uh, people that have been gruesomely uh, hurt in the fighting. And we see some gruesome, uh, I would say probably war crimes that have occurred. And we see um, the soldiers getting surrounded by the Viet Cong. Um, and so it really, you get a mix of action and you start to get a taste of horror at the end. I'm going to leave that part out. But let's just say more than what the two uh, characters at the beginning are having this dream. And we do get to see it depicted. And it is amazing. Um, I, I really... I, didn't, I wasn't sure if I was going to 100% enjoy this because of the war side of things that's not really like the genre that i normally am into um and so i thought about you know maybe it's not going to be my thing and i'm reading through it and i'm like okay this is seeming a lot like a war story so but i, I know there's this taste of, of something else going on um and they teased that enough throughout that it kept me hooked I got to the end, and that really hooked me as someone who wants to read the horror story side of things. And so for, from that regard, I, I ended up really liking this story. Um, so let me break it down um, like I usually do. Uh, this cover is so cool. Uh, we got this skeleton soldier, um, and you got the American flag in the background. And the covers for Vietnam Horror, there's four issues. The covers will connect and make a you know one cohesive image. So we got some connecting covers, no variants. That's just the regular cover. So that's really cool. Um, so I like the cover concept. I like the idea there. Let's say uh, for me, this uh, this cover is a nine out of ten. Um, really solid cover. Uh, going into story wise, I'm intrigued by the horror side. Um, me personally, I'm not a big fan though of the soldier story side. Um, so it kind of becomes a toss up for me. Um, uh, I, I'm leaning more towards a seven out of 10 on the story piece, but to me, that's still a good story. Um, and then looking at the art, everything is well depicted in here. And the use of shadows and shading is really good. Um, Again, I, I keep, I used to not want to read a black and white comic. The more I pick them up, the more I realize how stupid that was. Um, I, I'm loving this art in here, the depiction of the gore, the shadows. Let me give you a uh, scenery screenshot here. 
Um, this is just really cool. Um, so I, I really love that they did this uh, the way it is. Um, so for me, the art's a 9 out of 10. Now the characters, I'm, that's the one other piece that I, you know, I don't feel too attached to them yet. I'm probably going to have to reread issue one um, to really get into the, you know, which characters, which, because we got, um, we got several, uh, you know, several soldiers. And so for me, it's harder to remember which one was which. Um, but that, that's just me. Um, so for me, I'll say characters, uh, seven out of 10 otherwise, because we do get some interesting, that, you know, kind of soldier tropes going on, um, and seeing their reactions to what's going on, I think was very well done. So for me, I'll say seven out of 10 there, leading me to a final score of eight out of 10 for Vietnam Horror number one. I'm definitely going to read the rest of this. Um, I enjoyed it. I'm very intrigued by what's going to happen with the horror side of things. I think that is where things are things are going to get really interesting. So thank you guys for watching this. Um, please like, subscribe, comment, do all those things. Um, and as always, collect what you love, and I'll see you next time.